Good morning. It is Wednesday, November 18th, 2020. Back here for Bed Talk number 172. And the topic today is bobsleds. No, it's not. It's actually about leadership, but it is about bobsleds. In particular, piloting bobsleds. Recently on our podcast, we had a guest, Jason Krause, who was the pilot of the Canadian bobsled national team for a number of years. We were talking about what it takes to be a bobsled pilot and how it relates to leadership. And what struck me is two things. Number one is he was talking about the speed and, and making turns that there's the tiniest little adjustments that get made. Not, you, you know, you don't turn a bobsled like this. You make slight adjustments, but they're critical because those slight adjustments, if made well and based upon experience and trust, and leaning into those turns, you get the great result. You get the acceleration, you get the top speeds. But if you over adjust, then you're gonna crash and maybe even hurt people. So where is the line? How do you learn to make adjustments and not crash? See, that's the thing, it's impossible. It is impossible because you have to learn what it means to go too far too hard, too fast, too big an adjustment, and yes, fail, and yes, crash, because that's the only way to learn the edges. And the same is true of leadership. We need to go past our edge, especially our comfort or discomfort edge, to come back to where we are in our leadership. I often tell leaders, if you're not being pulled back in some way, or someone's not saying, whoa, then you're not leading because the key is to get out over those edges, past those edges, and yes, be willing to fail and even crash to find out what you are made of as a leader, find out what your team is made of, found out what your organization is about. So yes, this is about bobsled piloting and leadership, finding those edges, honing those skills and being willing to crash in order to learn and grow. And that's what leaders do. Thanks for listening. Keep taking care of yourself and everyone around you and stay connected. And I will see you back here tomorrow.